In this video, we want to explain you what loose leech is, how it's achieved, and what it does to the sail performance. As soon as you apply downhole tension, the more you tension, the more you bend the mast. The shorter the distance between the mast top and the boom gets. If the distance gets shorter, the leech gets loose. Simple as that. Why do we need loose leech in a sail? There's also a simple, a simple explanation to that. In contrary to a yachting boat, where you have steel strings running from the top to the boat on your sail, here we do have a dynamic entity. You hang on to your boom, the rig is connected to your board, but everything above the boom is dynamic. It's moving all the time. It's reacting, so it's your valve, you could say. Your valve to changing wind conditions, gusty winds, changing winds, your valve even to choppy waters. So each impact moves the top of the sail. But if the top of the sail is moving, is acting like a wolf, you remain in control. That's the whole purpose of loose leech, or of sail twist, how we call it. Sail twist is achieved by two things, the so-called mass twist and the sail or the leech twist. That's also the reason why sails, which are rigged on RDM masts, and RDM mass, due to the lower cross section, have more mass twist. And if you have more mass twist, you need less sail twist, less loose leech. On the other hand, sails with an SDM mast, with a rather big cross section, you need a combination. You have a certain mass twist, but on top of that, you need or in addition, you also need sail twist through the loose leech.